was feeling grumpy. This caught the attention of Toad. What's wrong, Mr. Oliver? he asked. I'm always shunting trucks, complained Oliver. I'm bored of it now. I feel trapped. I shall be out pulling trains like I used to. Not restricted to within the perimeter of the yards. The bigger engines were cross with Oliver. You're needed here, grumbled Henry. Sometimes we have to do jobs that we don't enjoy. It's all part of working on a busy railway. You should be grateful the fat controller puts you to good use, snorted James. As they puffed away, Toad couldn't help but agree with them. They do have a point, Mr. Oliver, conceded Toad. But Oliver huffed indignantly. Well, I know what I can do. Why not design to be a shunter? To make matters worse, Diesel rolled by with the works train. Look at that, scoffed Oliver. Diesel gets to pull trains and he's a shunter. He should be in these yards, not me. You wouldn't want what he's got, murmured Toad. Oliver didn't ask. He just huffed crossly away to do some shunting. However, a few days later, Oliver's wish was soon granted. Diesel is refusing to come out of the shed and do his duties, said the yardmaster. You'll have to pull his train instead. Of course, sir, said Oliver happily. You can certainly rely on me, sir. Don't you think it's a little strange, Mr. Oliver, that Mr. Diesel is refusing to work, observed Toad. Who cares? He causes nothing but trouble wherever he goes. Mr. Oliver, I think you should care. Mr. Diesel's duties is to help the workmen rip up an old disused branch line. Oliver's face suddenly dropped. Come along, Oliver, it's time to go, called his driver. Oliver puffed sadly away. As he left Toad in the yard, the brake van noticed Diesel looking shaken and anxious in the shed. Something wasn't right. Oliver steamed slowly along with the works train. When he arrived, Oliver had to shunt the crane and flatbeds to where the workmen had pulled up the rails. The little western engine was beginning to regret his eagerness to leave the yards. This is just like what happened on my old lines back home, he sighed. Let's go, said his driver. We'll come back when they need us. Ow! What was that? Are you all right? Asked Oliver to one of the trucks. Something hit my wheel, groaned the truck. The workmen inspected the truck and found a crack in its wheel. The trucks looked unsettled and pensive. You'll have to shunt it out of the way, said a workman. Can't be used until its wheels are replaced. How strange, thought Oliver. It was perfectly all right before. At the abandoned station, Oliver waited near the running line. It served villages in the hills and would be kept in use. Thomas puffed along with a train of empty vans. He stopped at the crossover. He knew instantly why Oliver looked so glum. It's just so sad to see the end of a railway, he said solemnly. <sighs> he won't be happy about it, sighed Thomas. Who? The fat controller? Oh, no, 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 no. The wheel tapper. The wheel tapper? asked Oliver confused. 
Yes, said Thomas. You see, he was a man that no one was fond of here. I never knew his name, but to us he was the wheel tapper. He was full of his own self-importance. He would deliberately make engines wait until he had tapped all the coach's wheels. At first, everyone thought he was doing a thorough job. But it soon became apparent that he was far too conceited for his own good. If it weren't for me tapping your wheels and searching for cracks, they would break, fall off and then you'd crash. I'm a lifesaver and do I get any thanks? No, he'd always say. As time went on, there seemed to be less passengers using the station, until one day all services were to be cancelled and the branch line closed down. The wheel tapper could have found work elsewhere on the railway, but he was in denial over losing his all-important responsibilities on his branch line. He blamed the railway for this. On a foggy night, the very last service ran empty. No one knows why the wheel tapper was walking along the line in the dark. But he did. <gasps> you mean? Thomas broke away. I wouldn't listen too closely if I were you. And he puffed cautiously away. Meanwhile, at the yards, Toad found an opportunity to speak with Diesel. Are you all right, Mr. Diesel? It was awful, muttered Diesel quietly. It wouldn't stop until we left. What wouldn't stop? It was the tapping. The constant tapping up the train. Toad now felt very worried for Oliver. As the work continued on dismantling the branch line, Oliver felt very unsettled. Surprisingly, the noise from the workmen lifting up the old rails seemed to keep Oliver distracted. There wouldn't be a chance of him hearing any tapping whilst that was going on. But soon, night fell. The workman had gone home, and it was time for Oliver to depart with the work's train. Oliver began to feel tense. It was eerily silent. W -w -w what was that? What was what? That tap! Oh, sorry, Oliver. I heard nothing. Now, we need to head over to... Shh! There it is again! L -l -l listen <gasps> Who's there? Make yourself known to us! Oh no! He's here! He's here! Oh, I knew he'd come! It's the Wheel Tapper! Oliver and his crew could take no more. With a mighty roar, Oliver thundered into motion and sped away in fright. When Oliver had reached the yards, he closed his eyes tightly, trembling in his shed. Toad waited by his side until Oliver felt brave enough to tell him what had happened and the story of the wheel tapper. Well, Mr. Oliver, said Toad softly, I guess this is a case of be careful what you wish for. Oliver said no more. When word reached the fat controller, he concluded that the railway was disturbing a place of rest. He took the decision to employ George the Steamroller to finish dismantling the old branch line, much to the delight of George. What do you think of this, Thomas? Thomas took no notice. The rails were soon gone and the only remnants of the branch line was the derelict station that was soon to be knocked down. But if you ever find yourself near the old branch line, heed Oliver's warning. Never stop.
or you will have to face the consequences of hearing the presence of the wheel tapper. <laughs>